What's going on y'all? It is Cop Pizzle. I purposely waited to make this video because tomorrow the NFL playoffs are going to get started. And let me say that the Giants should have been a playoff team. <laughs> I know that that's going to come as a surprise to many of you guys for me to say that considering we hold the six overall pick and considering, you know, we only won uh, 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 six games this season. But the reality is, is that when you look at the totality of the season, the New York Giants should be a playoff team. Now, I know that there's going to be those shoulda, woulda, coulda guys out there, and that's fine. But if you know anything about life, if you know anything about sports, is that sometimes things happen that just simply ain't fair. Right? Now, I sit here and I consume content just like the rest of you guys, and I am so disappointed beyond disappointed by those that make a lot of New York Giants content because the passion just isn't there. The 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 love isn't there. The 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 ego that they that they don't leave at the door is all exposed right there for you on camera in video form. Right? There's no sense of what it is to be a fan anymore because everybody's just some smart ass, but they can't get a job other than working at damn McDonald's. But nevertheless, the Giants should be a playoff team. Look, when you look at the totality of the Giants season, your franchise quarterback got hurt. Your franchise left tackle got hurt for a period of time. Saquon Barkley got hurt. Those were three pieces the Giants desperately needed to do well for the majority of the season. Well, guess what? These Those guys got hurt. When you look at, there were three particular games and three plays in those games that the Giants actually did enough to win the game. If they just execute those three plays, they're in the playoffs. You look at the, the last play in Buffalo. If Tyrod Taylor and Darren Waller make that connection, Giants win that game. If Graham Gano makes the field goal against the Jets, the Giants win that game. When if, if, if the Giants, if Tyrod Taylor makes the connection to Saquon Barkley on the two-point conversion against the Rams, the Giants win that game. Those are three games that a bunch of Giants content creators told you were meaningless. But when you look at the landscape, when you look at the totality of the season, when you look at the whole damn sandwich, they weren't meaningless at all. They were the games that caused us to not be playing this weekend. So if you guys want to sit here and spend the next several months going down the Giants should get a quarterback wormhole, you know, because these geeks can't be anything creative, right? They don't understand that the concept is to create content. That's what makes you a content creator. Instead, you just get a bunch of content plagiarism of just what did they say on Twitter, and I'm going to bring it over here to YouTube and give my reaction. We call that plagiarism! You can't do that in, you couldn't do that in school. You can't do that in life. But apparently you can do it on YouTube and be a big star. But nevertheless, <laughs> nevertheless, I can sit here as my God given right as a New York Giants fan and sit here whether I whether I'm delusional, which by the way, stop putting delusional in my video in my comments when clearly you had Google make you figure out how to spell delusional because you couldn't spell it without it. You don't get to call me delusional when you can't even spell the damn word. But nevertheless, if the Giants execute those those three plays, which by the way. The field goal, the two-point conversion, if you got Daniel Jones, guess what? You convert that. If you got Daniel Jones in Buffalo, you win that game. Those are two games that if Daniel Jones would have stayed healthy, would have been out there, Giants would have won that game. Daniel Jones ain't got damn shit to do with Graham Gano missing against the Jets. Okay, bottom line. I'm not sitting here blaming the whole game on him, but that is reality. 
the Giants don't need this whole big turnover, this whole big look. The coordinators are going to move. Coaches are going to move. That's that's That happens every offseason, no matter how good or bad your team is. They don't need this whole big roster turnover like some of you geeks and these people that don't that don't have any that can't have any ability to actually create anything, right? These guys were the guys in the classroom many years ago that gave you the project that you almost fell a fucking sleep to in the class. You guys know what I'm talking about? They weren't really creative at all. And the teacher was said that, uh, uh, "Okay, you can sit down, Jeffy. Good job, 70." You get a C. They don't have to need this big blow up. You don't have to go down this wormhole, people. Okay? All you need to do is set back, watch the Giants add a couple little tools, fix this here, fix that here. The reality is they went to the playoffs the very first year with Brian Dable. They lost to the Philadelphia Eagles in the playoffs. All right, right? They, they lost in the playoffs to the team that went and represented the NFC in the championship game, okay? They didn't just lose to a bunch of scrubs. They lost to the NFC champs. You got to tip your cap and give credit to them. You come back the following season, your guys get hurt, you're not executing. At the end of the day, you aren't this bad football team. You just had some circumstances not go your way. That's fucking life. Get out from your mother's house, stop eating her damn meatloaf, and experience life. It happens. Get a couple pieces. Get get fix this. Fix this. Fix that. Set this right. You're right back in the mix. You're playing next year this time in the playoffs. That's reality. And let me tell you this, guys. One more little tidbit. You don't pay a guy forty million dollars to sit on the fucking bench. You, know, you don't go, you don't commit your life to something or, or say, hey, we're going to believe in this. And then the very next thing say, no, nah, I'm not going to do that. Who? I mean, I, I understand that we live in a society today that doesn't respect the term marriage, right? You put, you drop your knee as a man, you put your knee on the ground and you say, will you marry me? Will you marry me? If she says yes and then get, and then makes her last name after you, you don't go cheating on her after one year. You don't just go around, say, well, I don't think I'm just going to OnlyFans and start buying them content. You made a commitment. You dropped to your knee. Stand up and be a damn man. I understand that's hard for many of you. I understand. But that's not what a real man does. You make a commitment, you stand by your commitment. Okay? Dust, get the hell up. Get the hell up. Dust yourself off. Watch the Giants get a couple pieces here and there. Let's go back to work. Hey, nobody else, no other con. You can't find another content creator that told you Darius Slayton was that dude other than Pizzle. I did. That was me. That was me. Nobody else. Listen to me. I'm the dude. I'm him. I've been him for 17 years. Guess what? I I have remained on the island of relevancy on YouTube since the day I got here, and I will since the day I leave. 